Hello everyone, and welcome to part 5, Together to the End. I've got my final squad sorted out. I think this is who I want to bring with this weapon layout, for the most part. All the rings and all of our magical people. But once we go through here, this guy will explain to us. There is no return once we've gone down there. We can, we could have gone, we can go back to the world map and like do other stuff, but I don't really think there's anything else I need. I think we're basically ready. Although, I forgot technically I want to move Dude around. Because she's a sword user now, so she goes up with the other sword users. It makes sense in my mind. There we go, she'll go like that. And there it is. So no going back. Now that we're down here, that's it. In fact, just to solidify it. Oh, we can't save down here either. Now you might have seen there was a button that says Celica right there. And there's a reason that's there. Because every so many screen transitions, keep walking. Wow, I'm not getting any of them. Come on, show off the cool mechanic. Wow, I'm getting very lucky with these. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just won't show off the cool mechanic. But we can't see down here. So I like that there's this scene here that kind of shows Celica's army fighting against Jetta's squad, and it's not just Celica's locked in a cell waiting to be saved. Oh, here it is. So every so many screen transitions, you'll see the Celica's party information come up, warning you that her party's losing HP. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go this way? If we go this way... Very intuitively. Would you look at that? A funny weapon. Let's see. Store this off of you. Oh, I put it on someone, that's right. Give me that. It's rightful owner. I, come on, who else am I supposed to give this to? I feel like there's only one correct person to give that to. Plus, it is really, really good in this game. I have the stats right here, let me scroll to them. The Gradivus in this game is 15 might, 100 hits, 1-2 range, and it doesn't weigh anything. And it's just a zero weight item. Oh, we're losing. But that's what this menu's for, so you can look at how Celica's squad is doing over in the other, uh, over in the other area. Now I do believe the first one we go down is this one. And I think we have an encounter coming up past this. It's not going to be completely free. We still have to do a bit of combat to get where we're trying to go. I think we want to do some funny warp shenanigans. Which one? Silk will use you for it. I think we will warp you up here to do with this guy. Now this part is just going to be getting to the final chapter, and the final chapter will be its own thing. Okay, so not on any kind of terrain or anything. Plus we have the magical shield, so... Of course, he could just hit us through the 10%, I guess. That's always a chance. Magic shield deflected. Okay, that's some damage done to him. We could warp someone else up there, but I don't think I want to. Maybe I don't want to warp. I don't have an actual bow on home, so I can't do that. Uh, you guys over here... I think that's in range. No damage. Dude, okay, that's okay. Are these, uh... Okay, so these are basically barons. But, 
we have this unit. 36 attack. Gradivus! Doing 16 damage to these armored enemies. I think he'll be fine against these guys. Actually, uh, well, there's dreads up there. I don't want to deal with them. Well, he'll be good against them. Oh, this. We'll do some sillies then. War. You'll be good against magic. We'll go ahead and finish this guy off. Okay, we just get a crit. Everyone else... I don't think this will matter very much, but you never know. Does he double? Oh, he gets doubled. Okay. At least he'll take the magic pretty well, because funny res bonus. Oh, they're just gonna go for him. I wonder if they don't see the magic shield, so they just... Oh, wow, they actually hit. So they see that they'll do all this damage to him. Um, Okay, interesting. Go ahead, go for it. I do kind of don't like that if you equip one two range weapon like that, they always use the two range animation, which means that we can't see his cool gold knight animations anymore. We're just kind of stuck watching him throw the gratifice of things. But I'll take it, it's cool. So there's this funny looking tile over here that I'll probably show off here in a bit. Let you throw more gratifice at things. This guy, look at all that non-existent res. I think because of that, we will... Nyaum. War. Warp was cast. Oh, we can't attack on there, fine. How much speed do you have? Versus him. 16 speed. 7 speed. Surely you double with... Ragnarok, right? Probably doesn't, but... I forget how heavy Ragnarok is exactly. Oh, we just crit. Okay. <laughs> that works. Dreads, I'm not going to worry about it as much. I want to get rid of these witches first. I like how much accuracy Lucas has on these guys. I wonder if he doubles them. He does. Look at this good unit. And I think we'll warp someone else up there to help clean up the last couple enemies. Someone who isn't really that afraid of the Dread Fighters. You're definitely not afraid of the Witches. And even if he does get hit, one damage. Funny 15 res boost. There to help. We'll just send Alm up there, I think. You have 17 speed. I think they have like 20 something. Oh, 18. But 15 power. They do one damage to him. So I think we're okay to just. He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, she can't even cast now. That's funny. Gotta make sure Alm gets more level ups for the final map. 
Level 18. I've kind of used this guy a little bit. We'll use you to finish this off. I could put the Rider's Bane on her, but I think the Holy Lance is going to be the best weapon for her. It has crypt built into it. It's the most accurate. There's going to be monsters in the final map. Okay, I think all that's left are like those guys. Oh, hit this one, please. Okay. But I think it's doubled by these guys. It's a little upsetting. So we have this tile thing. And if you end your turn on it... Oh, nothing happens. I'm thinking of a different tile. Well, now I just look like an idiot. Go try to rid me of my shame for getting something wrong on the internet. So this guy. Finish with all. I feel like that was supposed to be like a trap that gets activated if the enemy stands on it, but maybe it's only if the enemy steps on it. Oh well, didn't get to show it off. It's like a little side objective you can try to prevent. So this one, I believe we fall down this. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, I remember this map. Kind of got to spread out a little bit. I think you're on a... Oh, you're just on like a floor tile. So I think we need to seize that opportunity. Oh, yeah, of course he's gonna get doubled. It's a... It's a dread. We will dodge, though. I don't think it's super important we get rid of this guy turn one. Alright, because he ended his turn on the... So, this one is like a warp tile that sends you to somewhere if you end your turn on it. So, because, he, uh, because his turn technically has ended on it, he gets warped. this guy this turn. Unless we can do like big Ragnarok damage to him. But you have the magic ring, so... Four, three, two, one, start. We'll just, we'll just do big damage. The spell is also great because it's so accurate. I think there's an enemy up here. Yeah, there's another dread up there, but eh. We'll be fine. This is fine. Ooh, uh, I actually think before anything. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Let me stand there, because I want to get rid of this bagel. I don't want the bagel creating more, or else we're going to be here a long time. We obviously don't double because, like, you don't double biggles. We will throw a crowd of us at this guy, though. Now, on a certain turn, that wall in the front will fall out of the way, and then we can actually, like, move on with the rest of the map. So we'll throw some angel at this guy. Slowly chip them down. 
whack them with the Holy Lance a little bit. But we'll go here, just so we can block this area off. Go ahead, get doubled. He only does two damage to her, that's kind of fun. I do wish some of these enemies in this final dungeon had actual weapons on them. I think it's a little disappointing that even this far into the game, the enemies are just not equipped. I, I don't know, I just kind of find that a little interesting, that they just don't. Woo, more speed! Here he comes. See, they do funny warp shenanigans with it. Ah, oh, no! Not the biggles. Uh... Okay. I think I might just leave Lucas to deal with these guys. Because they do basically no damage to him. Gonna run off with you. Run off with you. I might run over and warp you here pretty soon. The middle one. Yeah, that's the low, that's the low HP one. That guy. Okay, that's one Biggle down. Just four to go now. Oh yeah, now he gets warped. We do have Gradivus. We can just throw some Gradivus at this guy. That is so much damage. Gradivus is so strong. But I guess I kind of hope it would be, considering how hidden it is. Angel. Ooh. At least he doubles. Because speed ring, 40 speed. I really want to get this kill with you. You have the funny ring equipped. Let's see if she gets a level up. Oh yeah, she does get a level up out of it. Woo! Luck up by two! Uh, you don't have a three ring spell. No, you do. You actually get thunder. Zap him. Not gonna do a lot of damage, but. No. Does no damage. Cliff still has one spell he has not learned yet. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think he can reach Doom from there. Instead, we will let Luca slowly deal with these guys. And eventually, whenever the left side's under control, well, oh, I guess I could have warped someone into the room. I didn't think about that. Just so I can go ahead and try to get rid of those bagels before they multiply again. Which, at this rate, they will. It's everyone, yep. Oh, that's tragic. I guess he's on a floor tile. That makes sense. Oh, he's going for him. Interesting maneuver. I think we will simply throw Ragnarok at him. Okay, do it more silly warp stuff. No! Is this five tiles away? Nope. This is five tiles, though. I think we will simply Ragnarok. This spell is really good, by the way. Except when it misses. 17 speed. You can exactly double by this guy, right? Oh, no, that's a lot. 17 power. Take 11 twice. You don't die. I do think. Eight. 
15 speed. Who in my squad can double Biggles, if at any? Uh, technically Silk can. But I think we're going to... 15 defense. I guess you also only take one damage from them. Okay. We're going to... Warp you here. Have you attacked this guy? Do all that damage. Ah, nice dodge. Ow. Goofy little Biggle animation. I guess I could have gone first with the Holy Bow since that has crit on it, but eh. Now we war. You right here. If I had Falcon, this would be a lot easier, but we will simply bonk them with the Royal Sword. At least we know we do Ikea with it. I have to wonder why the Biggles of all things got to have multiple animations. It's definitely a choice. Not necessarily a bad one. It's kinda interesting to me. I think we'll leave you two up here. I'll have you attack this guy. Oh, I should have run away. Now the other dreads are gonna start running towards him. That was a mistake. Get doubled. Yeah, I probably could have done that better. On the right side, we still have Fortify. I haven't fortified anyone yet, but it's still an option. We're gonna bonk the guy on the floor tile. At least the end game enemy quality is they're sending tier 3 units at us. Like, I think there was a gold knight up in the top left. That's kind of scary. Funny dread fighter trying to attack the guy with bunches of defense. Tee hee. I think we will simply wait here. So, this guy. Uh, keep this guy's name in mind. We might see it again. Big ol'. In this one scenario alone, I wish Biggles had two range, just so I could throw the Gratis up and damage more of them at once. Okay, Gray, you're actually taking quite a bit of damage. That's not cool. Oh, he's dead. There's no revival or anything in here. Oh no, enemy heal AI shenanigans. He's in healing AI. Okay, uh, Gray needs support right now. Um, throw the ground of us at a nearby big old. Swing the royal sword at this guy. I think what we should do is run away. Also run away. But we will also Magic Recover. 21 HP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven. And we will also fortify everyone. Now your job will be to recover her. That way we can fortify again later. I do want you to go over here to block off the path to her. Now you have 38 HP, so now you have a lot. I do want to block off the path to Dute a little bit. Well, if we go here... Uh, we are going to bonite these guys, though, because I want these biggles gone. Is there a hurt one? This one? Let's so attack the one above Z. That guy. Burn. So in a perfect world, you kill the big old turn one, but this sadly is not a perfect world. Now this will be fine. Ow. We did. Level 19. Wow. Actually hit the guy. That's a really low hit rate. Go ahead. I'd really like to crit some of these, please. The Royal Sword has crit on it. Also, this guy has a name. This guy also has a name. Some of these names might come up somewhere again. No! Make it stop! Oh, maybe we don't attack the... Well, we want to kill the ones at low HP. Because I don't want the low HP ones to duplicate. So I do think we keep swinging at the lower HP ones. Kill this one. Actually, try to kill. Well, I gotta make sure this bottom squad can handle these dreads. Oh, you didn't move because low HP, right? Because he's below half. Lucas, poke him. Look at Lucas dodging. Only good units do stuff like that. Ragnarok that one, so that's one, two, three, four. This is five tiles. Or maybe I start angeling the biggles up there. That's probably a better thing to be doing right now. Well, I need the dreads dead first. Surely you do enough. Yeah. Basically just enough. This is far enough. Want to do max damage to this guy. Want to just hit him hard. Big damage. Oh my. Box him in a little bit. We'll just fortify everyone back up. Oh, 
Okay, just get crit again. That works. I'm gonna be honest, Gray as a Dread is not very impressive. This man is too slow to be a Dread. Um, we can't conjure Illusion Dreads. I guess I really wanted to. I don't know if I do want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we will Holy Bow him. Don't never never count Robin out. Okay, and then we can finish with the angel. What level is Silk by this point? Level 14. Okay, that's a couple of levels. Uh, we can zap you with lightning. Okay, one less bagel. And... Fortify everyone back up. There's the wall going down. So then we can reach more of the bagels each turn. Okay, that's what I thought he was gonna do. Oh, she's counting with Angel now. Oops. So here's Kelps. He's kind of scary. And here's Belrez. Oh, he gets a crit. I wish these guys would kind of, like, stop critting my units. I also wish I could double these Biggles so I could one round them. No! Okay. So, kill this. Still kind of scary. Whack him! Oh, He's really trying. He really is. Nas, so I can reset what my spell I'm casting with is. I think, okay, hear me out for a sec. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Just so I can set Nas as the countering spell. Attacking bagels. I also, need, I also want to fortify. Just giving everyone 14 HP is so useful. And Cliff has kind of devolved into what most sages devolve into at this part of the game. You heal Tita. Ooh, double heal Tita. Actually, I think I want this menace gone first. I also just noticed that the first A in Ragnarok is not there. It is taking me this long to notice. Woo! See, it does a lot of damage when it hits. So. Not for these guys. Maybe we'll try the idea of we throw the Gradivus at you, and now all these enemies will just attack him and die. I think we'll just... Uh, actually, I need to bonk you so you don't run to the heal tile.
Okay, all of them are gone. Level 20. We have done it. No, he's not getting EXP. It's all being wasted. Oh, look, it's actually working. Now he serves a Gradivus. Now he serves a Gradivus in this one. Huh. That actually works. Yo, speed. Does he speed tie them? Please tell me he does. <gasps> he needs one more speed level and he can double the bagels. No, not more of them. Oh, I want to create down there. That's ugly. I almost wonder if Angel or Ragnarok will just do more damage. Oh, this is way more. Oh, she one-shots. Okay. Dude means business. Can you reach? You can't. Yeah, it's one tile short, I think. Meowm. Super speedy saint. Maybe we can play really offensively and kill a bunch of these kill a bunch of these guys. Uh, okay. We'll Angel one of them. This is why we brought two saints in here, and because they both have warp. And warp is very silly. <gasps> Level up? <gasps> Ooh. Plus two speed. Gradivus and you. Now, funnily enough, 21 attack. I think Alm with the Royal Sword still does more damage, even though Matilda will do effective damage. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to step aside for a sec. So we can bonk this guy. Big ol'. Okay, as cute as the big ol' animations are, we're gonna turn animations off for a sec. Lightning. Oh, we missed. Now you stand here to block the way to the other one. Get you two closer. Okay, yeah, she only does 17 to them. Oh no, he missed! Ah! There's so many of them. Does he have your full? Because that one's full. This one. Do a bunch of damage. Gradivus. Uh, I think we're better off just having all blocked the doorway. I will figure out a plan here in a sec on how I'm going to deal with these guys. We have all blocked the door. Here. Uh, can we get a fortify? And then recover the fortifier. Oh, we can use you to PP one of them at least. If this goes on for too long, I'll probably fast forward through this. I'm gonna be honest.
<sighs> that didn't go how I wanted it to at all. Um, wow. Um, so this is taking longer than I thought. How about this? There's actually two more episodes after this. Looks like you're stuck with me playing this game for a little bit longer. Uh, unfortunately, there's no save button in here, so we're gonna make do. Um, I will see all of you for the second half of Duma's Altar in the next part. But until then, see ya!